Welcome to GTV. Today we will be taking a closer look at how transformers work. A transformer is an electrical device which transfers electrical energy from one electric circuit to another without changing the frequency through the use of electromagnetic induction. The energy transfer usually takes place with a change of voltage and current. Transformers can increase or decrease AC voltage. There are four primary parts to a basic transformer, the input connection, the output connection, the coils, and the core. The input connections on the input side of a transformer is called the primary side because the main electrical power to be changed is connected at this point. The output connections is the output side or secondary side of the transformer where the electrical power is sent to the load. Depending on the requirement of the load, the incoming electric power is either increased or decreased. Transformers have two windings, a primary winding and a secondary winding. The primary winding is the coil that draws power from the source as the secondary winding is a coil that delivers the energy at the transformed or changed voltage to the load. Usually, these two coils are subdivided into several coils in order to reduce the creation of flux. The transformer core is used to provide a controlled path for the magnetic flux generated in the transformer. The core is generally a construction of many thin laminated steel sheets or layers. This construction is used to help eliminate and reduce heating. Transformers generally have one of two types of cores, core type and shell type. In the core type, the windings surround the laminated core, whereas the windings are surrounded by the core in the shell type. When an input voltage is applied to the primary winding, alternating current starts to flow in the primary winding. As the current flows, a changing magnetic field is set up in the transformer core. As this magnetic field cuts across the secondary winding, alternating voltage is produced. The ratio between the number of actual turns of wire in each coil is the key in determining the type of transformer and what the output voltage will be. The ratio between output voltage and input voltage is the same as the ratio of the number of turns between the two windings. A transformer's output voltage is greater than the input voltage if the secondary winding has more turns of wire than the primary winding. The output voltage is stepped up and considered to be a step-up transformer. If the secondary winding has fewer turns than the primary winding, the output voltage is lower. This is a step-down transformer. To learn more about transformers, please make sure you check out our other videos on GTV. Transformers and thousands of other products and services are available at Gelco.com.